being kicked out of their university's Elite Scare program, two freshman monsters are forced to work together in order to set things right in Monsters University. Hi, I'm Billy Crystal, and you're watching Made in Hollywood, and here's a scene from Monsters University. Go, Monsters U! Imagine a university. Where I can be unique. In a family of thousands. Where I can love to learn. And learn what I love. Yeah! Time for a celebration! Woo! We'll be ready. Five, six, seven, eight, two, 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 seven, eight, turn! I think everyone is really excited to see this prequel story to the beloved Monsters, Inc. film. Yeah. But what are we going to learn about Mike Wazowski? Well, Mike's going to learn, too, about Mike Wazowski. I think that's why the movie is so much fun and heartfelt. James P. Sullivan. I'm gonna be a scarer! That's what happens in college. It's time to learn about yourself, and, and he does, and maybe he doesn't like what he learns, but he, what, the big lesson is he becomes a better person for it. And that, that's, I think that's kind of beautiful. You might want to hang out with someone a little more your speed. Want to join Uzma Kappa? We have cake! Oh. Your character, Johnny Worthington, he is the top scare student at Monsters University. Mm -hmm. He is the president of the top fraternity. It's mm -hmm. all good on paper. Yes. But how would you describe the real Johnny Worthington? Johnny Worthington is a guy who thinks there's nothing more important than winning. Johnny Worthington, president of Roar Omega Roar, and a guy who will look at you and not see your, your true worth. Roars are the best scarers on campus, Sullivan. And I think kind of a dangerous guy as far as uh, his social settings, because he's good looking and he's popular and he's a jerk. He's a bully. Uh, I think that's a terrible combination. It's something kids are going to actually, we all, I think, actually encounter all the time. If you're not scary, what kind of a monster are you? I'm Art! New Age philosophy major. Thought you might like to keep a dream journal. Is that a joke? He is a very interestingly shaped character, and he has a kind of an odd, bizarre personality. But how would you describe your character? You just did it. He's, he's <laughs> interestingly shaped, uh, and he's an odd, weird guy. And uh, he's perfect for me. Yeah. What? Oh, were you kissing my hand? And what about you with all your shedding? I don't shed. Really? Even before this movie, I have grown a huge liking for the character, mostly because his name is just really fun to say. Right. Because you have to say Mike Wazowski. Of course, you can't yeah. just say Mike, you have to say Mike no, Wazowski. Mike, yeah. Mike Wazowski is something special. Were you excited to return the character? Was it easy for you to just jump right back into him? Yeah, no, I was thrilled to, to, uh, to find out we were going to do another one. And then when, I, when John Lasseter said it's a prequel, they're in college, I just flipped out because I thought, what a great idea. Very funny, Sullivan. You look great, Wazowski. You know, if you're gonna prank someone, the least you could do is think of something clever. I worked on the first one, and uh, I wanted to come back and, and be with Mike and Sully on this journey, so it's been awesome. Yeah, and I was a fan of the first one. I started at Pixar the month Monsters, Inc. came out, so to get a chance to work with those characters and the people that made the movie, I was so excited. That's why I made these cupcakes. That's nice, like you're saying, why else would I have done this? Come on! When the first movie came out, which was 12 years ago, um, a lot of the, the young kids are now college kids themselves. So, you know, they now relate to us on an equal level. The Scare Games! A super intense scary competition! You could totally die. And it's worth it! I am asking everyone to show me one of the top scaring techniques, and for you, I chose the shadow approach with the crackle holler. First of all, you have to come out of the shadow. Right. So I can't. So I'm like. So I'm like this. Okay. And I would just like do that. So, but I'd have right. to do a crackle, crackle holler. holler. Like a. <laughs> a crackle holler is um, is kind of like a. Uh, it, it's like a, a witch laugh. It starts high. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and then... Ogre slump. The ogre slump. That's a good one. It's like a posture thing, okay. right? And then the ogreness, I'm too small to be an ogre, but uh, the ogreness has a lot more hair. And the slump has to do with like the ogre just can't get a job for months and months and months. And like, so you wouldn't know about that. Striking out with the ladies, that and that's the ogre's in a real slump. You don't need to study scaring, you just do it. That is a good point. Yeah. The McDougal fake out. Oh, the McDougal this fake This one, out. I was like, what is that one? I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, I'm sure it would be something where you're uh, going up to scare someone on one side and then faking them well, out on the McDougal? other side. Who's McDougal? He was a great scare. They're all named <laughs> oh. after great scares. Okay, okay, yeah. I got it. 
I can't go to class. I'm not wearing any clothes. What would be the exposed roar? That sounds like something you can't do on TV. I'm going to ask you to show me the zombie snarl. A zombie snarl? Mm -hmm. These are the names. I wrote them down. So zombies usually have something to do with like just being like, Dead. They wake up and then they're like, ah, brains, right? It's always about brains. Right, with these and their guys. hands are out, but then they're like, so then if they were snarling, they're like, like, ah, brains, and always with the brains. And you would say, dude, with the brains, we'll get you brains. <laughs> Let's begin the first competition. Uh, good luck, ladies. Thanks. We're gonna rip you to pieces. <laughs> Go! What is interesting about this film, though, the prequel story is that we love these characters and we know where they're going to end up, but we don't know how they're going to get there. Mm -hmm. What would be your prequel story? My prequel story would, uh, I think, start in uh, uh, fifth grade when I first faked being sick for a math test. That was my first kind of touch with acting. Who I've ended up being is um, just been a constant evolution and will continue to be, because that's why life is exciting. Because once you've finished evolving, you're done. So just close the lid and I'll see you. That helps a lot. And then in seventh grade, when I learned how not to laugh in a moment, when I was supposed to be, when I'm supposed to not be laughing. Like at a funeral. Yeah, a funeral, that's a good one. <laughs> in funerals, though, you can pretend you're crying. Just put your head down. <laughs> that's true. You're not even scary. If you have that much time on your hands, why don't you go Google Made in Hollywood and close the door on your way out? Say scream! I cannot get down. I want a piece of that action! 